Hello and welcome, my name is Joel Tron and this is Starforge the Alpha. So this is going to be a little tutorial video, I have done a previous tutorial video, however this is going to be an updated one showing you a little more things that I may have missed, overlooked, and some of the new things. There's a new user interface, so we'll go over that, and things like multiplayer, so let's get right into it. So when you're trying to start a multiplayer server, if you want to host it, pretty much what you need to do is you'll be clicking on this start server but first check your global IP so this global IP right here is the number that others will need to use to connect to your server and this local IP is if you have somebody else in your house on the same internet as you then you can both connect to the server using that however if somebody is in a different house on a different internet they will need to use this global IP Alright, so that is how somebody else connects to your server. So then once you start server, you'll see there's this right here. Some people have ports closed. That's the specific port you'll need to open. If you don't know how to do that, there's a wiki page right here in game. You can click on this and it'll take you straight to the wiki for it. Alright, so that is your multiplayer. Let's go ahead and go to some single player now. Not going to do the infinite terrain because the crafting system is, well, there's not quite enough materials to craft st something like the Jeep. So we'll just go straight into creative. Fort defense, of course, is very similar in the aspects of creating things and, and such. The only thing is you don't get to shoot down trees in fort mode because there are none right now. All right, so as you can see here, we have started at our normal spot and we've got jeeps now so if you press E you can go ahead and get into a jeep if you press V you can change your views same with uh, when you're on the ground walking around and just drive around have a good time it's fantastic alright space bars jump of course you can go up here grab something with E you can run around with it now when you're going to craft something you're going to want to gather all of these supplies these here are the supplies that you're going to be using and if you shoot down a tree or something and gather up all the wood, it'll turn into a little stack of logs, and then you can grab it like this. So I am going to gather up some supplies, and I will see you when I'm done. All right, so here we are. We're back. We've got some materials. Right now I've got the four materials that are in the game, as of now, right in front of me. Get that out of the way. First one here is the wood pellets, of course. As you can see there, it's wood. Next one here is fuel. As you can see, it looks like fuel tanks. Next one down the line, this is metal. Each one has a hundred metal inside of it. And the next one down is stone. Each one has a hundred stone inside of it. Alright, now to use these, you need to be in the proximity of them as you can see as I'm moving around here I'll try to get there it is again see on the bottom left of the screen it says resources available for crafting and it has a number so as you can see that's the resources in my general area so to start crafting I'm just gonna hit tab to bring up my equipment menu and then as you can see I've got all of my current blueprints that I'm able to build and we'll just go ahead and start with stone so I'm right clicking on that and then I'm going to left click on the craft spot and then on the bottom right it shows me how many stone per unit is required to build this. <clears throat> and as you can see on the craft spot it says times zero. So to change that we're going to drag it to the right while still holding down left click on it. And then you can drag it back to the left if you want to turn it back down. You have to do this for everything when you're crafting it now to set your quantities. Uh, let's just go ahead and make 100. There we go. Alright, so we've got some stone now. That is how you craft. As you can see, we can look at other things. If you want to just check the recipe, just left click on it. And it tells you how many you need. So I need 50 metal to make that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. Two, one. There we go. Oh yeah, I got myself a gun. Alright, so that's pretty much the crafting as of now. In order to get some more wood, you can just shoot down a tree run up to these little wood pieces and press E to turn them into 
pellets. So there we are with that. All right. Now one more little helpful tip may be just pressing R will take you back to the vet spawn. So if you're ever out there in the wilderness and you're a little bit lost, you can just press that. It takes you right back there. All right. So a few extra tips that I might as well throw in while we're at it here is if you haven't played this before, gun bullets have physics and momentum. Oh, that kind of hurt. So as you can see, you can I'm jumping straight up, shooting, and it's pushing me back. So as you can see, you can use that to gain momentum. Now we're going to go ahead and drive up a hill. And then jump off of it. Because the physics of this are real fun. Lots of things you can do, mess around with, figure out. Currently the guns do not work. What I'm shooting actually out of this myself with my own gun. I can drive and shoot at the same time. Pretty talented, I know. Alright, so now that we're up here, let's go ahead and switch to my stones. This will be the little building aspect. Right click, and there you go, you place the block. Right click, place the block. Okay, now I am, if I want to build a extended wall, if I want to extend this, not placing block by block, clicking every time, all I'm going to do is left click until I get those four arrows on the outside of the, my cursor. And then you drag it up. And you can drag it to the side and drag it down. So that should make building easier once you get used to that. Maybe a little odd right at first, but it's fairly, fairly useful once you get the hang of it. Alright, so see that block up there is out of place. I'm going to press E and then click on it and it destroys it. And then press E again to go back to normal build mode and I can place blocks all I want. Build myself a floor if I wanted. I do want, I want a nice little stone floor. Uh, yeah, much nicer than sleeping on the ground. Alright, well as it's getting dark here, I'm just going to flip on my lights. Lights? No? Okay, we're not going to flip on the lights. I'm just going to go ahead and show you one last thing. If you jump off a very large cliff, you will normally get damaged. One thing you can do is press spacebar right before you land, and it will sort of bunny hop you. Because if you think, rabbits jump a long way, yet they never get hurt. And as it gets very dark now, I'm going to leave you with this. Goodbye, farewell, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'm more than willing to help you out with anything that you need, as long as it's not tech support. I don't know much about the technical aspects of this game. You're better off going to the forums, but hey, give it a try if you want to ask anyways. I'll tell you when I know. Thanks for watching. My name is Joel Chan. This has been Star Forge Basics, updated for the 7th, 8th of the 7th month, 2013, blah, 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 yabber, yabber, yabber. See you next time. Peace.